Yeah. You know, it's amazing. But then one of the benefits, I guess, is sometimes you, uh, you find your mind drifting and you solve little mysteries, right? You know, you'll be in the shower, you know, your mind be relaxed, the water's just nice and warm. Good place to think in the shower, you know, you look down and you start to mess with your pubic hairs a little bit. <laughs> you get to thinking, boy, these suckers never grow. Stay the same length your whole life, man. <laughs> Come out to a predetermined length. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that? Why did Mother Nature decide to keep control of the pubic herself? <laughs> You think about it, all this other hair on your body grows, man, but the fucking pubic, can we trim the pubic? No! I will control the pubics. That is my domain. Right? Well, I don't know why. I couldn't solve it, but I'm glad. I think society benefits. I think we all benefit from that decision. Because, you know, if Mother Nature had left it up to us, you know, with personal hygiene being the way it is and individuality being the way it is, you know if it was left up to us, you know, there are people who would never fucking cut their pubics. <laughs> For whatever reason, right? You're rebels, you know, you're non-conformist, right? Would you want Don King in control of his pubics, man? <laughs> Dennis Rodman, you know what I mean? You know, winos, you know, you know, they wouldn't cut them. You know, what would make the average wino cut his pubics, huh? Peer pressure? <laughs> you, know, you know, a lot of the winos do some type of pubic intervention on you know, him or something. Say, Clark, Clark! Fucking wake up, Clark. Fucking Joe, rip. Hey, Clark, look, man, we gotta talk to you, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta cut your fucking pubics, man. Yeah, you know, they're fucking down to your shoes. Yeah, well, we're all fucking drinking. <laughs> Shit, man. You got so much snapping and growling coming out of there. People are afraid to even step over you on the street. You know, really, I don't know if it was that fat, man. Fuck. You think I got, you know, maybe some crabs down there? <laughs> crabs? Man, you got fucking alligators down there. <laughs> Shit, you've become a bayou. So either cut your pubics or fucking move to New Orleans or something. Plus, we save money when you think about it, because your whole life, you never have to walk into a hair salon. <laughs> and I say, hey, how much uh, for a pubic trim? Huh? How much? <laughs> well, you know, I got this job interview tomorrow, you know. <laughs> yeah, my shit's getting a little out of hand, you know. $70? <laughs> shit, I don't want them styled now, just cut. Just a straight cut. Just a straight, nah, a straight cut. Don't need a shampoo, just a straight cut. <laughs> no, I don't care what they're doing in Paris. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about what they're doing in Paris, man. 